the terrifying truth about chimps. Let's get straight into it. Shout out to Casual Geographic. Link will be in the description. Let's go. One of the world's scariest animals just got a whole lot scarier. And Planet of the Apes is slowly becoming nonfiction. Because hmm. apparently chimpanzees are out here murking gorillas. Scientists in 2021 me? witnessed a troop of chimpanzees basically jumping a family of gorillas. And when I say gang, we're talking about almost 30 chimps pressing a family of five. Keep in mind a silverback can weigh up to 400 pounds and could probably bench press your oh car. My God. And according to witnesses, the silverback was eating chimps left and right like they were paper mache. But eventually the chimps overwhelmed the bigger silverback and even kidnapped a baby gorilla. I'm not going to tell you exactly what they did, but that family of five became a party of four. And what? it wasn't even the last time. Because later that year, scientists watched the same group of chimpanzees do the same exact thing. Square up with a family of gorillas, kidnapped a baby, and erased its name from the gorilla census. Oh my and it's not gosh. like we didn't know chimps were about that. They often hunt bush babies and vervet monkeys, and we've even seen them use weapons like spears to do it. But it's one thing to hunt something that- Bro, the fact that chimpanzees and gorillas be out here beefing is insane to me. Like, the the, the jungle is wild, man. It's really wild out there, bruh. That weighs like five Skittles. And we've even seen them use weapons like spears to do it. And they but use it's spears. one thing to hunt something that weighs like five Skittles. Going gorillas is another tier of Black Air Force activity. Which is why I'd rather be locked in a room with a jaguar than a chimp. Because at least a jaguar gonna make it quick. That's exactly why <laughs> chimps are going to hunt using spears and the way they do it is not pretty. So what you gotta remember is these sociopaths share about 98% of their DNA with us. And they have more in common with humans than just thumbs. Oh, They're wow. part of the special class of animals that can create and use tools. And chimps are probably the best at it. They'll take twigs, stick them in mounds, and literally go fishing for termites. They'll use stones as hammers to crack open nuts, and it's actually a lot harder than it looks. They'll use leaves as sponges to drink water, sticks to steal honey from bees. Some have even been seen making and using stone flakes, which are really close to what early humans used to make back in the day. Really? But yeah, chimps also use spears by breaking off a stick, sharpening one end with their teeth, and then shoving it into the hollow part of a tree trunk. Because they know that's where bush babies sleep. Scientists watched them stab bush babies and force them out of their hiding spot in trees where they proceeded to tear them apart and eat them alive. So they oh don't actually gosh. eat the spear the way a lot of people probably thought, but they're definitely too smart for everyone else's good. Bro, chimps are really freaking smart. I did not know chimps would have... I mean, I had uh, uh, a way of, of seeing them like they, they, they're they smarter than probably any other animal in the, in the jungle, but I didn't know that was that freaking smart, bro. That's insane. Like, they really are, like, next to humans. Also, fun fact, out of all the animals I've talked about, a chimp was probably the closest to ending my entire way of life. But that's a story for another video. Alright, so here's a story of how a chimpanzee nearly ended my entire way of life. So this was in Senegal, that little country right there. I was visiting for a couple months, and me and some family decided to go to a zoo that, looking back, was way too run down to be called an actual zoo. The so only thing separating story. the chimps from the general public were prison bars that were wide enough to stick your hand through. And before you even think it, no, I did not stick my hand into the chimp cage. I was seven, but I wasn't stupid. I was now, if you wanted say. to see stupid, you'd have to look at the people around us. But some of them thought it'd be funny to throw things inside the chimp enclosure. Not to like hurt it, but I guess to scare it. Either way, nobody in that zoo was winning an award. Especially when someone started tossing rocks in there. No way. That's yeah, stupid. But the stupidity marinade. Facts. I just remember watching the chimpanzee just sit there and take it. Until the people ran out of rocks. It wasn't until the chimpanzee started picking the rocks up that the people realized just what they did. They just gave an animal with thumbs and no regard for anything human ammo. So yeah, as you'd expect, the chimp started fastballing the stones back at the crowd and all we could do was run and take cover. Bro. And I vividly remember crouching behind a bench and when I got up, a rock flew past not more than four inches past my right eye. I was really just bad luck away from either doing this video with a glass eye or not doing this video at all. Wow. Look, you can say size matters all you want, but four inches made a difference that day. This picture <laughs> might look cute, but it's- Bro, it's the fact that they were throwing rocks at the chimp. Like, why would they do that? That that makes no sense, bro. Like, come on. Common sense would tell you not to do something like that. Like, that's just so freaking mean. It's actually one of the most disturbing things you'll ever see. I'm about to tell you one of the most messed up stories you've never heard of. So this guy, Dr. Kellogg, had the question I'm sure all of us have had at least once. What would happen if you raised a human without teaching it a language or having it around any other humans? Mm. Like a nature versus nurture kind of thing. It's one thing to think it, it's another to be on CPS's watch list. So this guy had a human son, Donald, that he raised with a female chimpanzee he adopted named Gua. So he treated 10-month-old Donald and 7-month-old Gua the same in ways that would have CPS, no PETA, and the Geneva Convention pulling up. The experiment was weird. 
He would tap on both of their heads with a spoon just to hear the differences in the sound of their skulls. Seriously? He would purposely make loud noises and provoke them just to see who would react first. Oh At one point, he even spun Donald around on a high chair until he started crying. It got really dark really fast, especially when the human Donald started acting like his surrogate chimp's sister, walking on all fours, being overly aggressive, and even biting people. It's a shame the Pikachu meme didn't exist back then. Donald would bark like Gua when he wanted food and refuse to walk on two feet even though he could. Eventually, the man who somehow graduated with a doctorate in psychology from Columbia realized that he was ruining his son. So he called the experiment off. The chimpanzee that they treated like a daughter and was part of their family, yeah, they packed her up and sent her away to be part of another experiment, where she was unalived by pneumonia a few months later. As for Donald, he grew to be an adult and eventually became a doctor, until he deleted himself at the age of 42. And to add insult to whatever seasoned hell this was supposed to be, if you go over to Dr. Kellogg's Wikipedia, he was described as a guy who had no tolerance for those who were unethical. Moral of this video, Thanos should start a GoFundMe. I'm starting to think he was onto something. Some stories just make you want to go off the grid and avoid humanity completely. Like, why would you do that to your son? Like, your own son. Like, literally, why would you do that to any freaking body? That is so ignorant, stupid. Like, oh my goodness, bro. I'm out of words for that, bro. I just, it's like really slowly, like, Pissing me off, man. Like, why would he do that? And while that may not be an option for you with NordVPN, your internet can. Yeah, not, not my best transition. I'll be better. NordVPN creates encrypted tunnels for your data and protects your identity by hiding your IP fam. address. Let's get like it. a snow leopard Sponsor in the mountains, you can observe the world without having to worry about being tracked yourself. I'm not going to tell you where he is. If you haven't seen him by now, just know you've already died twice. NordVPN allows you to connect to thousands of different services. If you want to watch Spongebob on Netflix but can't because America loves to gatekeep, just know Australian Netflix will gladly accept you. With NordVPN, you get all the perks of living in the land down under without also having to pay taxes to kangaroos. And without having to check your snakes for toilets. you have any idea how dangerous toilets are? Then you never have to feel like you're giving up speed for security. And with Imagine you sitting on a toilet and you just feel something just tap you. Bro, I would literally, my soul would leave my body. NordVPN's threat protection, you can enjoy your online experience, with whatever that may be, I really don't judge, without also having to worry about ads, trackers, or malware. So to protect your data and get the most out of your streaming service, make sure you go to nordvpn.com slash casualgeographic to score a huge discount available only for a limited time. And with Nord's money-back guarantee, it's basically risk-free. You want to know what's not risk-free? Having a chimpanzee as a pet. Oh, trust me, this is going somewhere. After this ad, but don't a lot of people. Here's why you should never like, give a chimpanzee Xanax. Sounds like common sense, but apparently it's not that common. Who would do that? Travis was a 13-year-old, 200-pound walking life lesson that lived with his owners in Stanford, Connecticut. He spent his entire life around people and was basically treated as one of them. He would do things like use the family computer, watch baseball on TV. He knew how to open doors with keys, and sometimes he'd drink wine out so of a glass smart. after a long day. What? Everyone knew him, and he would even greet police officers whenever he would see them around in a neighborhood. Really? I want you to remember that for later. Travis even drove a car, and he did it more than once. It's like if this dude was an actual member of society. Now, what would happen in 2009 wasn't out of nowhere. The red flags were there. He once climbed out of his owner's car and held up traffic for hours looking for a man that threw an empty bottle at the car. And there was one incident where Travis bit a woman's hand and tried to drag her into a car. But what? none of that was as bad as 09. Are you I'm not going to make any jokes because this was honestly one of the most traumatizing things I've ever seen. Because one day in 2009, Travis left the house with his owner's keys and the owner and her friend Charlotte Nash tried to get him back. The only problem was Nash used his Tickle Me Elmo to try to bribe him back into the house. And seeing someone else hold his Elmo pissed Travis all the way off. Travis brutally mauled Nash, tearing out her face and limbs and not even stopping when his owner hit him over the head with a shovel. And as the attack got worse, his owner had no choice but to literally stab him in the back. Oh my and a goodness. literal butcher knife to the back only made Travis angrier. Eventually, police were called. Yeah, the same police from earlier. It took multiple bullets wow. just to get Travis to stand down. Travis limped back to the house, went to his cage, and passed away. The vic Bro. Did he say the chimp could drive? On top of that... The chimp went on a rampage by himself. I mean, that's just animals are not made to be pets. You know, they're, they're supposed to be in a wild. Like, why are you keeping a chimp as a pet? That's just, I don't know. Like, the victim survived the attack, but Travis had ripped over 90% of her face off. Like, geez. lips, eyes, nose, they were all gone. 
And I am telling you right now, do not Google that if you have a weak stomach. Okay, cool. Those pictures not- personally f***ed me up for days when I first saw it. <laughs> At the time, we didn't really know what set Travis off. Some sources said it was because Charlotte Nash was holding his Elmo. Others say it was because Nash had a different hairstyle that day and that freaked him out. But a toxicology report confirmed that Travis the Chimpanzee had Xanax laced tea the day of the attack. Travis's owner obviously got sued, but then she died of an aneurysm just a year later. Wow. Which was bad for everyone involved. But at the end of the day, the lesson here is the chimpanzee never went crazy. The chimp just went chimp. Well, somebody sent me this, and I actually think there's a right answer here. But first, I'm actually curious. Which one would you choose? Like, which one do you think you'd have the best shot with? Off rip, we can go ahead and eliminate the rhino. For a couple reasons. Rhinos have really bad eyesight and even worse anxiety. Mostly because they have to share a zip code with animals that would literally eat them balls first. Mm. Life is multiple choice and rhinos Ooh. consistently choose battery. So if this anxiety riddled warhorse has a panic attack near you, you will be a chalk outline. <laughs> Komodo's an instant game over too. Because Komodos don't flatline their prey with bacteria the way we thought they did. This homicide gecko is actually venomous. And they've been known to dig out human graves and eat the corpses. So don't think you can't get meal prep too. One bu- Imagine. Imagine. I mean, I guess you couldn't imagine if you're already gone, but still, that is disgusting. Bite in its credits, and there's nowhere in the apartment you can go where this 10-foot leather assault weapon can't get to you. Now, the Jaguar is actually an interesting one. Jaguar attacks on people are really rare. They're usually in self-defense. So you'd actually have a better chance of surviving in a room with a Jaguar as long as you don't provoke it or do anything to make him think you're food. Okay. However, Jags are solitary, and in a one-bedroom apartment, if that Jaguar feels like you're in its space, it could be lights out. Which is why your Bet. best shot is actually with the gorilla. The gorilla. They're natural pacifists that won't waste the calories attacking something that they don't view as an immediate threat yeah. to them. Yeah, I've heard if you like just, you sweat that I think you, you put your head down and you you don't sweat to be looked at as a threat. So don't make any such movements. And if they don't see you as a threat, they'll leave alone. So as long as you don't look him in the eye yeah. or smile at him unless you're yeah. trying to be Harambe's roommate, your best chance at winning and, you know, living is with the gorilla. Facts. I want to show y'all something. So I made a video on this, and a lot of people are commenting how they choose the Komodo, since all they'd have to do is climb a counter, just wait there for 37 minutes. Some even said they can manhandle the leather assault weapon if they needed to. I'm not going to talk about how Komodos can be nearly 10 feet Let me guess they can climb. I'm not going to mention the fact that young Komodos can climb trees. Okay. And I'm certainly not going to acknowledge the fact that out of all the animals here, Komodos are the only ones that will actively eat humans. Nah, I'm not going to talk about any of that. Instead, I'm going to show you this. Look how big that Komodo dragon is, bro. Should we sure don't make dinosaurs, bro? Oh my god. No further comment. Bet. That's all I need to know. That's all I need to know. 